Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to find out the degree of static indeterminacy of a truss. This video is only about how to find out the static indeterminacy of a truss. If you want to learn how to find out the static indeterminacy of a beam or frame, you can watch my other videos on the topic. I will also post the link in the description. So let's learn how to find out the static indeterminacy of a truss. First, the total static indeterminacy of any structure is given as the sum of internal static indeterminacy and external static indeterminacy. This external indeterminacy is itself calculated as total number of support reactions in the structure minus the number of equations of static equilibrium available. So it will be equal to R minus 3, where R is the number of reactions in the structure. This internal indeterminacy, this will be equal to difference of total static indeterminacy minus the external uh, static indeterminacy. The total degree of static indeterminacy of a truss is given as ds is equal to m plus r minus 2j, where m is the number of members, r is the number of reactions, and j is the number of joints in the truss. If the value of ds is equal to zero, it means this truss is determinate. If ds is greater than zero, it means truss is indeterminate. And if the value of ds is less than zero, it means this truss is unstable. However, these conditions, first and second, it doesn't always ensure us that the truss will be stable. You have to check the stability by uh, visually or analytically to find out uh, whether the truss is stable or not. Now we will solve some uh, examples on this uh, static indeterminacy of a truss to better understand the concept. First, let us take the truss first. I can see for this truss, this truss has total of eight members. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three reactions, one at this roller and two at this hinge, and six joints. That is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Putting values in the equation, I get the value of uh, total static indeterminacy equal to minus one. Since the value of ds is less than zero, it means that this truss is unstable. When the truss is unstable, we don't need to find out the value of external as well as the internal static indeterminacy. Now for truss uh, second, I can see that this truss has total of seven members, four reactions, two at this hinge support, two at this one, and total of five joints. The value of ds comes out to be equal to one. It means that this truss is indeterminate up to one degree. External indeterminacy, this is equal to the number of reactions minus three, since this truss has four reactions, so four minus three is equal to one. And the value of internal indeterminacy, this is equal to total static indeterminacy minus the external static indeterminacy, which is equal to 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. For truss 3, I can see out that this truss has total of 13 members, 3 reactions, and 8 joints. So the value of ds comes out to be equal to 0. It means this truss is determinate. The value of external indeterminacy, number of reactions minus three, which is equal to zero. And internal indeterminacy, this will uh, also equal to zero. For truss four, I can see that this truss has 21 members, three reactions and total of 12 joints. The value of ds comes out to be equal to zero it means this truss is determinate. External indeterminacy of this truss is equal to number of reactions minus three, which is equal to zero. And internal indeterminacy is equal to total minus external, which is also equal to zero. For truss five, I can see this truss has total of 15 members, three reactions and nine joints. The value of ds is equal to zero. It again means this truss is determinate. The value of external indeterminacy of this truss is 
uh, number of reactions minus 3 which is equal to 0 and internal indeterminacy of the stress is also equal to 0. For truss 6 I can see that this truss has 11 members, 3 reactions that is 2 at this hinge and 1 at this roller. There are 7 joints in this truss. The value of ds is equal to 0, the stress is determinate, external indeterminacy is equal to 0 and internal indeterminacy of the stress is also equal to 0. For truss 7, I can see that this truss has 12 members, 3 reactions and 8 joints. The value of ds comes out to be equal to minus 1. Since the value of ds is less than 0, we can say that this truss is unstable. For truss 8, we can see that this truss has 11 members, 3 reactions and 6 joints. The value of degree of static indeterminacy of this truss is equal to 2. It means this truss is indeterminate up to 2 degrees. External indeterminacy of this truss is equal to 0. And internal indeterminacy of this truss is also, or this is also equal to total minus the external so it will be equal to 2 minus 0 which is equal to 2. For truss 9 I can see that this truss has 11 members, uh, 4 reactions, 1 at this roller, 1 at this roller and 2 at this hinge and there are 7 joints in the truss. The value of a ds is equal to 1 it means this truss is indeterminate up to 1 degree. External indeterminacy of this truss is equal to number of reactions minus 3, which is 4 minus 3, which is 1. It means this truss is externally indeterminate up to 1 degree. And internal indeterminacy of this truss is total minus external, which is 1 minus 1, which is equal to 0. For truss 10, I can see that this truss has uh, 12 members. 3 reactions and 7 joints. The value of degree of total static indeterminacy of this truss is equal to 1, which means that this truss is indeterminate up to 1 degree. The external indeterminacy of this truss is equal to 0. And internal static indeterminacy of this truss is equal to 1. For this truss uh, 11, I can see that this truss has total of 10 members, 3 reactions and 7 joints. The value of ds for this truss is equal to minus 1. Since uh, the value of ds is less than 0, we can say that this truss is unstable and we don't need to find out the internal as well as the external static indeterminacy because we cannot solve an unstable structures. For truss 12, I can see that this truss has 20 members, 3 reactions and 12 joints. The value of ds for this truss is equal to minus 1. Again, this truss is unstable. For truss 13, I can see that this truss has 8 members, 4 reactions and 6 joints. The value of ds for this truss is equal to 0. It means this truss is determinate. External indeterminacy of this truss is equal to number of reactions minus 3, which is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. And internal indeterminacy of this truss is equal to total minus external. So 0 minus 1, it will be minus 1. So external indeterminacy of this truss is 1 and internal indeterminacy of this truss is minus 1 which makes the total indeterminacy of this truss 0 or you can say truss is determinate. For truss 14 uh, we can check that uh, by inspection we can check this truss has parallel reactions that is this roller and this roller the reactions are parallel since the line of action of the support reactions are parallel we can say that this truss is unstable externally okay so this is how we can find out the degree of uh, static indeterminacy of a truss both external as well as internal
i hope you enjoyed this video and as usual you learn something new from this video you can subscribe to my channel if you find my videos helpful and also you can share my videos with your friends thanks for watching my video and i will see you in the next video